Hi everyone, my name is Ron and this is our vital moment. I just want to get transparent with you for just a few minutes, kind of open up my heart to you. We turned the corner into 2020 this past year, just a few months ago, and I have to tell you, I was excited about 2020. I was looking forward to the ideas of 2020 vision and what would it look like for a brand new year, not only for my life, but for the church that I'm part of and the church that I get to be a pastor of. And it's interesting that I kicked off the year with a verse found in the Bible that speaks to this idea of no matter what we face, we can be strong, we can be resilient. I thought it was a really great verse to kind of kick off the first Sunday of the brand new year. I also talked about this idea of my word being obedience. Never would I have imagined that in the beginning of 2020, in the first number of months, the first few months, that this would come to be my test. It would become part of my journey. See, the first few months of 2020, for many of us, and me included, has been very difficult. The struggle has been real. You can hashtag it if you want. Struggle is real. Some of us have faced some very difficulties personally. Some of us have struggled just relationally. Some of us maybe financially. For me, there is moments in my leadership in the life of our church where we faced uncertainty when our trailer was stolen right off the hop, right at the very beginning week of January 2020. Uncertain as to which way to turn and what to do. Now, thankfully, we've got a great team at Vital Point Church that rallied very quickly to resolve our issues and come push through those seasons. But we find ourselves wondering, what in the world is going on? It's no longer just an individual thing. Is no longer a church thing. We're now facing something that's global, something that is much bigger than ourselves. In the midst of it, what do you hold on to? What do you cling to? The verse that I referenced just a moment ago was found in the writings of the Apostle Paul in a letter called Philippians. And he wrote this, No matter what, I will continue to hope and passionately cling to Christ so that he will be openly revealed through me before everyone's eyes. So I will not be ashamed in my life or in my death. Christ will be magnified in me. I love the beginning of that verse. It says, no matter what, no matter what my circumstances may be, no matter what pain I might have, I will continue to hope. And the hope is not a false hope. It's a secure hope. It's a hope that we can build our lives on, a strong foundation in the person of Jesus Christ himself. Because he says that I will passionately cling to Christ. What do you passionately cling to? Is it your social media? Is it your income? Is it your bank account? Is it your home? Is it your apartment? Is it your education? What do you cling to? These things will pass. Our clinging to Christ will not pass. It is an eternal hope. It is a hope that gives us great strength. The interesting part of this verse, it says, so that, so that the glory of God may be revealed in me. I want to encourage you, if you're a person of faith, a follower of Jesus Christ, that you have a hope that can cling to the person of Jesus Christ that brings an awareness of who God is in your life. We're living in a time where we need this kind of hope, where we need this kind of foundation to build our lives on. A foundation that won't crack, a foundation that won't fall apart. A foundation that says that a God who loves us deeply, that He is there for us, that He will be in our corner, that He won't leave us, that He won't abandon us, that there's nothing that can separate us from this incredible love that He has for us. No matter what, no matter what we face, no matter what we go through, no matter how deep the valley might be, we can have a hope. We can cling to the person so that we will not be ashamed that Christ, so that Christ might be magnified in us. Today, will this be your vital moment that helps you, that gains strength for you, that gives you perspective as you cling to this beautiful hope in this person of Jesus? This is your vital moment.